Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rakus Gupta. I'm co-host of Automation Tower and blogger at AutomationChampion.com. I post videos and blog posts around Salesforce flows like the web component, Pardot, Apex, and Salesforce releases. If you want to learn these topics, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog post. In today's video, we will learn how you can enable enhanced uses metrics for platform event. So platform events are used in Salesforce to solve various business problems. For example, if you want to integrate two systems, you can use platform events or make the transactions or solve mixed table errors problems or anything else. There are some use cases of platform event. Platform event also comes with hourly, monthly, and daily limits. You can find some of these information by navigating to the platform event in the settings. Now, as a Salesforce professional, you want to understand how I can track my uses a platform event in my org. So if you can go to your developer console and run this query, you can be able to find high level information about number of platform event published and deliver on that specific days. But it will not tell you how many platform event is consumed by a specific platform event. Now sometimes it is very, very helpful if we get those these kind of information so that you can really adjust your architecture to reduce this consumption. In summer 23 release, Salesforce introduced a new feature called the NAS user matrix for platform event. So once you enable it, and then you run this SQL queries and in platform event users matrix object, you will see detail reports are now number of platform events consumed by specific platform event. So this is after enabling it has user matrix. Now, the question is, how do you enable this matrix or this setting for a platform event? So the first of all, uh, you can go to the Visual Studio Code. You can do it through Metadata API. Go to the package.xml and these tags. Once you are done, I created this project with manifest. So you can see retrieve source in the manifest and wait for our Visual Studio Code to complete the transaction. Now, navigate to the settings and black home event dot settings hyper metadata dot xml. By default, this is false. Change it to true, control s or command s, and then and go to the package dot xml, just deploy source in manifest all. And that's all. Thanks for watching this video.